Okay, guys, um, I'm going to show you a quick and effective way to take your FirePoint to the next level um, so that you can be more productive in the day so that your leads can, uh, your leads don't slip through the cracks and you can come in with some intention and focus on exactly who you need to hit. And this is a technique called setting up smart lists and using your bookmarks to stay more organized. So here's the concept, guys. The concept is you filter, you create filters of your different leads, right? Your hot leads, your nurtures, your past clients, things like that. And you set up bookmarks so that all you got to do is click a button and it pulls up that list. This is These are called smart lists. Uh, Follow-up boss uses this as well, but you could do the same thing here in FirePoint. And all you have to do is just go in and start attacking each list and you're not, you're taking the guesswork out of it. So let me show you how to do this really quick. So when you go into your leads right now, I'm in my FirePoint, I'm looking at my leads. And I want to be able to filter my leads. So I'm going to first create my filter. It's going to be all of my hot leads. So I go to filter and I say everything that's hot. I hit apply. And now I have 10 leads that are hot. So these are my hottest clients right now. These are the ones that I'm following up with um, on a daily basis. These are the ones that I'm trying to get in the contract, whatever that might be. So once I create that filter, this URL right here is something that you can just copy and paste. And it'll always take you to all your hot leads. So if I were to just bookmark this page using this little star button, I can now title this as hot leads. I hit done. And now it creates a bookmark. And I'll go ahead and find that bookmark here on this little drop down, right? You find the little list at the bottom. So it's at the bottom. And I'm going to drag that either to the top of my list here. Um, hot leads. I can go all the way to the top, right? Or you can take it and you can even drag it and move it reorganize it here. So let's say I want that to be right here. And now it's in my bar right here. And so now every time I click on this button here, uh, let's see, like I'm going to go to my Google Drive. And then you can see I'm in a different uh, uh, on a different site now. And if I want to go to my hot leads, I just click on this button. And it'll automatically take me to FirePoint and it'll automatically take me to this filter that I created for hot leads. So now I'm, all I'm gonna do is just repeat the process. So now I'm gonna go here and I wanna filter out all my nurtures. So these are all the leads that I gotta continue to nurture. I'll hit apply. And now I have 18 leads that are in nurture status. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Bookmark it, title this as nurture, nurture leads, I'm gonna hit done. And now I'll go find that little bookmark here on the bottom and I'm gonna drag it to the top right next to my hot. So now I have my hot lead filter, my nurture lead filter. These are my, my lists, basically, my calling lists. And then I'm gonna do, let's say I wanna do all, everything that's under contract, right? So if I click on statuses, any active listings and any buyers who are under contract, because these are my clients that are under contract that I gotta stay in touch with and make sure the process is moving forward. So I'll hit apply. And now I have two of those, right? My two deals that are in contract, my listing and my uh, my buyer under contract. So I'll do the same thing. I'm gonna bookmark and I'm gonna say, I'm just gonna put U slash C under contract leads. Or I could even just title it under contract. Hit done. And I'll take the same exact thing. I'll take that, drag it to the top. Bam, now I have my three. Now, another, person, another uh, thing that I want to continue to see is my past clients. So I'm going to go to all my closed deals. These are all the clients I've already helped, right? This way, I know I got to go through those and follow up with them. So you'll see there's a lot more here, 741. So as you start to build your business, that list is going to continue to grow. And sorry, I'm going to bookmark this. I'm going to put closed or however you want to label it. And now I go down here and I find closed and I go up here, my closed ones, I'm going to put them right here. And you can organize this. I have a couple other things here, right? So I got to organize this a little bit better, um, but you'll see what's happening, right? All of those lists will stay here or I just hit this drop down and I can even set them up so they're all right here. Now, the other important one, guys, is your tasks, right? Your daily tasks. So I'm gonna to go to this little drop down menu on the left of FirePoint, click on tasks. 
and I have 86 tasks, right? These are not all my tasks, by the way. These are just leads I'm um, attached to. But I'm going to create a bookmark for my tasks. So I'm just going to say tasks. Hit done. And I'll do the same exact process. I'll take that and I will put it somewhere over here. Right. And now I have my task there. And you can also go a step further and you can, let's say you want to filter out the pond leads. So maybe you create a filter in the pond, like the Zillow Flex Pond for any leads that were created in the last 90 days or the last, you know, 180 days, whatever it might be. And you create that filter and now you bookmark that filter and you put that up here so that when you're hitting the pond, you just click and you know who to go to. So guys, this is going to be a game changer for a lot of you guys, because uh, what a lot of people are doing is they go into their uh, FirePoint and they just see all these leads everywhere. And there's no way to properly categorize them or know who I got to hit and when I got to hit them. So by you setting up these filters, all you got to do is come in and start your day with, okay, let's just go down the list, right? I'm going to start with my hot lead. So I'm just going to click on that. Bam. Bam. I'm going to just call all these leads, right? Or follow up or text or email or whatever I got to do. Okay, got that taken care of. I'm going to go through my nurtures, maybe see um, anybody I got callbacks with, right? But if you're using your tasks correctly and every lead is on a task, then really all you got to do is click task. And then that should already be in here of who you got to follow up with. So every day you might have five or 10 tasks that you got to clear. And so you can just come in and knock your tasks out and get the get the job done there. You'll come in, knock uh, knock your tasks out, and then you make sure you hit the leads that you got to hit. Um, guys, this is the game changer right here. If you are not managing your leads properly, things will slip through the cracks. And so the most important part for this to work is that you manage your leads and you categorize all your leads properly. So this is part of you going into FirePoint, cleaning everything up, make sure everything's categorized, get rid of the junk, only keep the ones that are the hots and the nurtures, your active clients and things that you know, like you have a good connection with and get rid of the, all the other stuff, guys. And then just create your filters, hit the leads daily, put everything on a task. Every, there's always a follow up task or a next step task for every single lead. And then you just go down the line and you attack your day uh, being really productive. So I hope this guys helps. Uh, I hope this helps, guys. Let me know if you have any questions. and. Uh, be productive. That's all I got to say.